I posed a question to some of you, which was, okay, if the stone was fired up at just a, you know, a pitiful one meter per second, right? So in other words, like, you know, I, I threw it as hard as I could, okay? So that's, that's how far it went, right? Now you guys almost universally said to me, no, the stone will not collide with the ball. Now, can you just rehearse, what was the reason why? Why wouldn't it collide? This ball would come back down to the ground before the ball had a chance to get anywhere close to the stone, right? Now, let me approach that from another way of thinking about this. See, here's what's interesting, right? You tell me there's no, there's no solution, right? But I think there is when I look at this equation. What does this tell you? This tells you, given a certain velocity that I threw the stone, fired the stone, right? I'll tell you when the two things collide. Now, if I put V equals one in there, I get 180. What units are those? Seconds, three minutes. Seems like a solution to me. Why isn't it a solution? Hmm. Okay, so let me pose this question to you, okay? Now, I know this is not gonna go on there, but hopefully, I need someone to help me. Uh, actually, I need all of you to help me. Um, get, your, get your phones out and your stopwatches. Oh, no. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll stand over here, okay? Now, you may, need to, you may need to stand up so that you can see this, because I need you to know when this hits the ground, okay? Maybe you can, yeah, you can hear it, I suppose, but sound travels slower than, than light, so, okay. Now, um, I'm gonna put this ball up on the ceiling, which um, Ian and I and our expert, you know, sort of tradesman measurement uh, have found out two and a half meters. Okay, two and a half meters. I'm gonna put it on the ceiling and I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it, okay? And I want us to see how long it takes, okay? So, you ready? Two and a half minutes, okay? So, um, I'll catch you in, right? I have to be on a tippy toe. I'm gonna catch you in and you start and then you stop when you think it hits the ground. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, how long? 0.5? Who, who got the highest, the highest time? One second? One second? Who got the shortest time? Okay, so hold on. Stay with me. 2.5 meters, right? Uh, I think the, the longest I got is one second. Did someone say one second? Did anyone get longer than one second? So, so one second was our highest. What was the lowest? Who got the quickest time? Half a second? Yeah. 0.5? Okay, fine, fine. Let's go. Let's go, let's go right in the middle, right? 0.75. Did you know there's an interesting theorem that says if you have a, um, a big jar of jelly beans, you know there's guessing competitions? If you get enough people to guess and you take the arithmetic mean of their guesses, you'll get right on there if you have enough people. Anyway. So I should have gotten more of your money. Let's go. 0 0.75 seconds to travel this far. Okay? All right. Now, hold on a second. Here's what's interesting. If, if I dropped the ball from higher, right, it would have gotten faster as it went down. You know, like say, for instance, if I dropped it from 180 meters, right? So therefore... If I work out this speed, this just this speed, okay, two and a half meters over zero point seven five seconds. What's that? Divide by two point five. That must be, oh, I don't know, about zero point three, zero point three seconds for one meter, something like that. Is that about right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, one hundred eighty meters. One hundred eighty meters. How long would it take? What's that? That'd be 54 seconds, would it not? 54 seconds? Except we know it's actually going to go faster than that, isn't it? Right? Because it's actually going to speed up. We took that as like an average speed. But it's going to drop and it's going to go faster, 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 faster. 54 seconds at the most is how long the ball takes to go from here to here. Can you see why this number is important? I said... When V equals one, when will they collide? They'll collide after three minutes. No, they won't. Because this ball got down to the bottom before three minutes, right? Can you see this, right? 
this is actually putting some restriction on how long this whole thing happens, right? So this is all this is all just us, you know, making our numbers. Right? You don't need to guess, you don't need to estimate 54 seconds. You tell me how long is the ball in the air? Come on, we have equations for this, right? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the equation I want? Uh, no, not that one. This one. Right there. That's, that's where the ball is at any time, right? So you solve it. Let's solve it. I want to know when, when the ball hits the floor, right? There you go. That's when the ball will hit the floor, right? And you go ahead, you get t squared equals 36, right? And so t equals 6 because, right? Not 54 seconds after all, huh? Okay, 6 seconds. 6 seconds. That's all it takes for the ball to go from here to the ground. Okay? Hmm, not bad. 10 times faster than we estimated. What's the lesson there? Estimate better. Okay, anyway. So therefore, now we have a restriction. We have a restriction on time. Right? This restriction on time implies a restriction on V, at least if you want them to collide, right? Maybe this one. Well, okay. That's when this thing is flying, right? That's when this situation is actually in play. But I know what T is. It's this. Right? At least for a collision it is, yeah? Now, have a look, have a look. I'm not all that interested in this, right? So what do I do with this? I was just telling you. Well, I can I can multiply across because I know v is positive, right? Okay. So I can multiply across without mucking around with my inequality direction. So therefore, now you turn this thing around and you divide through. And there you go. Hmm. Now just pause for a second. Look how many lines of working there are between where I left you and where we got out. Oh, I cheated a little bit, sorry, need this. There you go, fine, okay. A whole, a whole eight lines are working, if that, really, okay. But the thing is, it's not about the lines of working, is it? It's about what's going on up here, right? Working out that this thing, this thing is important, and that, that's how this comes into play, 